speech, focusing on choosing the topic and analyzing the audience. I am your teacher for today. I am Mr. Wilson Ferrer, oral communication teacher. Before we start, here are our objectives for this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to 1. Define the meaning of speech and oral communication. 2. Properly select an appropriate topic in making speeches. 3. Make use of audience analysis to improve the selection of topics for speech. Now, what is a speech? As some of you may have encountered in public gatherings and school assembly, a speech is a long oral message in public given by a person. You may have experienced this when you are still going to school, the principal or the student representative giving short speeches about the school activities. Why do we give speeches? The general purpose of any speech will be either to inform or motivate, persuade or entertain your audience. How do we write speeches? Writing effective speeches is a step-by-step -step procedure. In this lesson, we will tackle two of the steps. First is choosing the topic. What is a topic? The topic is your focal point of your speech, which can be determined once you have decided on your purpose. Depending on who your audience are, the topic may also change. Why? Because there are certain audiences who will not be interested or even understand the topic. Topics must be appropriate to certain audiences and are according to its purpose. What are the different purposes of speech? First is informative. It means giving information or to make the audience learn the topic. Example of this is a seminar. Second is entertainment. It means amusing the, the audiences. Example of this is stand-up comedy. Lastly, persuasive. It means providing the audience with well-argued ideas that can influence their own beliefs and decisions. Example of this is election debate. With the purpose and topic ready, you can now analyze your expected audience. What, what is audience analysis? This means checking your target's audience information and one's preferences so you can give a proper speech that they will be interested in. In analyzing the audience, one must consider the following. First, the demography. This is the age, gender, literacy, affiliations, jobs, nationality, and etc. Certain demographic groups have pre preferred topics and way of delivery. Next, the situation. The time, venue, occasion, and size. Example of these are weddings, funerals, rallies, and so on. Different approaches in delivering the speech may give different effects to the audience. And lastly, the psychology. This is the values, beliefs, attitudes, preferences, cultural and racial ideologies, and needs. Example of these are the religious groups, unions, et ethnic groups, and so on. By knowing the, the audience information and preferences, one may be able to tailor a fitting speech for them. To show this, let us do the short activity. Choose the most appropriate topic for the following demographical examples. Here are the choices. Healthcare, games, fashion, career management, and home management. These are the demographic groups. Housewives, female teenagers, male teenagers, senior citizens, and fresh college graduates. You can pause the video to take your time answering. Now, let us check which topic is the most appropriate to each group. Housewives do home management. Of course, they are more interested in keeping the home. 
doing laundries, cooking meals, and so on, then fashion and the others. The, at, the other topics are possible too, but home management is the best. Female teenagers are more interested in fashion, while male teenagers are more interested, interested in playing games. This is true and there are surveys conducted about it. Senior citizens care about their health and keeping young, so a topic about health care will interest them. And lastly, fresh college graduates are interested to learn how to manage their careers. That is all for topic choosing and audience analysis. If you have any question, please refer to your teachers. Thank you for learning and have a good day.